Today we're going to explore what we can do with old broken screwdrivers. Are they good for anything or just the trash? I think they're good for something. Let's find out. So here's a pile of my old junk screwdrivers. Obviously if you have a nice flat head that you like, you can just go out and sharpen it up. And this video is not on how to put a good nice hedge on a flathead screwdriver. It's more about the junk stuff. You know, uh, here's a uh, no name brand Phillips that probably strips. I don't know. For some reason I jammed it in the junk pile. You know, there's a bunch of Phillips there. Here's a flathead. Nice wooden handle. No names anywhere on it, so it's just some cheap thing. No names, bigger, nicer handle on that. You know, some of these things, here's a smaller one. This one is a nice Exolite. Here's a Fuller. Both these are nice ones, but this Phillips is completely broken off. I've tried sharpening Phillips before. I've been mildly successful, but it's just not worth your time. Um, here's a nice, oh, JCPenney. JCPenney right there, USA made screwdriver with a broken Phillips tip. We can turn those into other useful tools. Now if we pop over to the file drawer, we can pull out files. And this is the first use I've found for them, and I've been using this for years. Pull out a couple here. So this is probably one of my favorite uses for them, and that is just using the handles off of them for file handles. Um, here's one right here that I use as a file handle. Here's one, a nice acetate handle. Here's a rubberized handle off of some cheap little Chinese screwdriver. that probably broke and I pulled off pulled out the shank and put that on there you know I really like the wood handles I have a bunch of extra wood handles but I also like the nice plastic handles they feel great they're they're meant to meant to use so we can just take one of these we'll take like this or something and we'll just pull out the shank it's pretty easy and we'll make a, a file handle for this one or this one so to pop that handle off generally you just need something like a vise We'll take this one, this screwdriver, we lock down the vise, and a lot of times you can just pound it off. That easy, handle comes off. Sometimes you have to um, heat it up a little bit, so you just take your torch, warm it up a little bit, and it just pops right off, but most of the time, that's as simple as it is, and now we can go jam this on a file. There we go, it's locked on there. Makes it nice. I actually like having the colored handles. The, I really like the wood handles, but the, the wood handles, they all look the same. I have to look at the tip, but I can just reach in there, and I know like my favorite file is this red-handled one. I just grab the red handle. You know, this one, I know exactly what file this is when I reach in there, and now I have this one. So maybe this one will go through the cycle now, because I'll recognize that. But that's making handles for stuff, and you can put handles on anything. Anything you can think of that needs a bigger handle. I mean, you could take... If you're really so inclined, you could take something like a uh, ratchet or something that you wanted a fat handle on for some reason. You could drill that out, pull that out. You could drill it about the same size as this, just a little bit smaller, and just jam this up in there, and you could have a huge handle for your ratchet. You know? Why not, Snap-on? Let's do it. The next use, making hose picks or O-ring picks, scratch-alls, stuff like that. Here's a scratch all. I actually didn't make this. This was just part of a tool something I found. But you can see that it used to, and it says right on there, they used to be Phillips. Back when Phillips screws were still a patented item, uh, you had to get, uh, you had to buy the rights to be able to, I guess, make a Phillips screwdriver. So somebody else turned that into a scratch all. It's been in my toolbox. I use it. Here's one I made out of a Stanley screwdriver. This used to just be a Phillips number one, probably. And I've just, you just taper it off, you heat it up, and you bend it to make a, an O-ring pick. I mean, these are two, commercially, these are both snap-on things. This is probably close to $100 worth of O-ring picks right here, commercially available. But we can make them. You know, this was free, that's free. Um, this snap-on looks a lot like this JC Penny. So why don't we make another one? I've actually wanted one. Um, snap-on has one that curves around backwards. Um, back on it so you can grab the, um, these are kind of meant for uh, radiator hoses. So you can grab a radiator hose and kind of bleed it. So I want to be able to grab it and pull it back towards me. So I think that's what we'll turn this into. Um, I've made a couple more of these and most of the time the skinnier the better. It just makes it easier. So something like this screwdriver would make a good one. A nice o-ring pick. Um, this one skinny and long. This would make a nice o-ring pick. Uh, this Exolite right here would make a great small o-ring pick some of the stubbier ones 
Um, like this one, even though it's skinnier, I don't have a ton of room to make one, but you could still make one out of. Uh, if they're really fat, like this screwdriver right here, it's gonna be a little bit difficult, but you could turn something like it, this into, you could blunt it out and just use this as something like a tire iron for small tires, stuff like that. Um, same with this one's already blunted up, but we could do that with those. So let's actually turn one of these, let's turn a couple of these. Let's turn this JC Penny into um, like an O-ring pick. So the shank on here is about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to, for something this fat, I need to taper it down at least two inches to actually get a nice even taper on it. So I'm just gonna use my bench grinder here. If it was skinnier, you wouldn't have to taper as far, but we're just gonna go for it and taper it down. Before I get too far, I am not worrying about the heat that I'm putting into this. I Obviously, I don't want to get it so hot down into the body of this where it starts loosening up. But I don't care about ruining the temper on this. I actually want it soft because I'm actually going to heat it up and bend it. I've tried actually hardening it before again, but you really don't need that with a pick. And every time I've hardened it, it just becomes brittle. And I find no problem with just heating it up, bending it how you want. You know, heating up red hot, bending it how you want, and just letting it cool down and it works just fine and I, the, you don't have a break and I don't really have them bending either because this is actually some decent steel that they use for screwdrivers. Just to hold it. I'm just going to clamp this on the bottom just so when I'm bending I'm not taking, I'm not forcing it through the base. And we're just going to heat it up and bend it how I want. Like I said, I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna just let this air cool down. I'm gonna cool off the shank just right here, just to nice rusty water, just to keep it from melting inside the handle. But that's kind of what I wanted. And there we go, a reverse hook. I could use this to get, you know, rubber seals, uh, bearing seals, hook behind it. And just pull it out. We'll see. This one actually has this screwdriver actually is great for that because it has this little neck here, so I'm able to, to pull versus if it was just something straight. So this one I should be able to get a nice force on it. It's not as long as I'd like, but I can make other ones. Like I have this nice long one that I can use for something that I'll maybe I'll try again and just make a couple of them. And you can heat them up and bend them a different way anytime you want. There we go. We just took a junk one and we made a straight one, like an all couple different patterns you can make them into anything you can re-bend them reheat them old junk screwdrivers that serve me no purpose anymore get a uh, second life and will live on forever as a handle or as a pick obviously if it's a good name brand just go warranty it out but other than that these are these are just junk so I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts if you guys have any thoughts on what else you can do with these I'd love to hear it, and if somebody posts you know, a great idea, I'll put it below in the video description. I'll put a bunch of other ideas if I come up with anything else down there, so you can go and read that. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Have a good one. Bye. I'm working down here. Can you give me my screwdriver? Can you bring me a screwdriver? The, the drink? You, not the drink. Bring me the screwdriver. Well, that's shook up. Bring me the screwdriver. The drink is fine. Yeah, I like the drink. Okay. Mmm. But bring me this. Bring me the screwdriver. No, no, no. Give me the screwdriver. This. Bring that here. Bring it here. Yeah. Bring it here. Oh, thank you. Now I can fix this. Oh, good job. Okay. I'll put the drink up there. The drink was next, but... There. Can you give me a drink now? Yeah, there we go. Now the drink. Screwdriver, drink. You're awesome. Thanks, puppy. See you guys.